Yo, what is up guys? Akron is coming out soon, and if you didn't know, she has a kit that is very centralized on doing debuffs, which is going to change the meta of the game. I just wanted to explain what debuffs are and what are all of the debuffs that we currently have in the game and how they work on the enemies. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And hopefully after this, your Akron can be ulted a million times. So just to start, I wanna, I'm just gonna go into MOC here. Uh, we just reset MOC, I was just doing it. But just to show you how you can actually see what a debuff is that you have put on an enemy, I will show you right here. Starting up a normal fight, you know, on a Kafka and Black Swan, doing all my technique points and all that. So I go into the battle here and pick up auto play from farming. Yep. So I'll take this off. Huh? I think see, they are getting a lot of debuffs on them right now. A lot of people don't know, surprisingly, that dots count as debuffs, which I didn't know actually. But um, yes, if you didn't know, see, sometimes stuff goes into other effects, like uh, Ron May passes, stuff like that, which I will explain later. And those do not count as debuffs. But as you can see here, these things in here are what is going to be counting as a debuff. So you're, you see right now, I have Arcana, this unremovable debuff on them, and then I have Shock as well. So there's two debuffs that is on the monkey right now. And the other effect is just the monkey's buff that it has to itself. But we have other stuff that counts as an other effect. Okay, but what I really wanna do is I want to show you every single debuff we have in Honkai Star Oak right now. So currently, we have got like around like 10 debuffs here, but it's more than that. It's more, I have them categorized in like 10 areas, but we have the basic uh, dot characters like your burn, your shear, your bleed, your shock, you know, stuff like that. So you have Kafka with shock, you've got uh, bleed from uh, Luca, you know, you've got your shear from like a Sampo, your black swan, even though hers is Arcana, so it's different than shear. Then we have stuff like Dot from the Universal Market, where is a preservation character. We have something like the Universal, or Trend of the Universal Market. When you get hit, you apply a dot on the enemy based on the character's defense. This is also a, another debuff. So there's also enemies that apply debuffs to uh, either themselves or to their other teammates after they die. And we have stuff like the fish. You've probably seen this, you know, this uh, goofy looking fish dude. After it blows up, it does like a big defense uh, shred to all of the enemies that are on field. That counts as a debuff. Then there is also the newest Penacony enemy, which is this um, this little dog dude, you know? The dog, when he's dead, he blows up. He puts a little bleed on everyone after he dies. That also counts as a debuff as well. Now, other debuffs that there is is something like um, slows from Don Hang here. You know, four star Don Hang. No one really plays four star Don Hang, but you know, if you're four star Don Hang player still, power to you. You know, um, Don Hang's got a slow on his skill to reduce their speed. That is a debuff for, for two turns. Then we have Welt. Welt also has a slow on his skill as well. That counts as a debuff. There is people like Topaz who have a damage vulnerability to follow up attacks. This also counts as a debuff. Then we have. Um, Silver Wolf, who literally any attack she does applies a debuff. She has her bugs that she can apply. Bug. Then we got our alts, debuff, a skill, debuff. She's just applying debuffs everywhere, you know. Then we have something, uh, you know, a little bit unique like Gunaithen. She's got the fire kiss damage vulnerability. This counts as a debuff. And then she also has her burn, which also is another debuff as well. Then on top of that, we have uh, we have like a fear from Quofo. I don't have Quofo, so I have to go to the databank. Her technique when you start the battle. You may not be able to see the technique from the databank, but Quofo, when she starts the battle, has a fear, which makes it so they get like, um, I think they get less attack. Another debuff is something like a weakness break. Literally any weakness break in the game applies a debuff. You know, you've got Shear, you've got Entanglement, you've got Shock, you've got Freeze, you've got Burn, you've got Bleed, and you got Imprisonment, which gives you the speed debuff. Enemy action delay is not a debuff from as far as I know because it's an instant thing that applies, but the speed reduction is a debuff. Then we also have something like the Fire MC's Taunt. 
that also counts as a debuff for one turn. Then there is also, now another debuff is freeze. That goes hand in hand with like weakness break and everything. But like specifically, if you have a character that can freeze like on command, we don't have a lot of people that can do that. It's only March, Jeopard, um, Misha, and then Jingli's technique as far as I know. I might be missing someone, but freeze does count as a debuff. You know, you go into battle, enemies frozen. Going to debuffs here. <clears throat> As you can see, these guys are debuffed with frozen state. So, another debuff, you know. And I think that is pretty much it. I think I've gone through every debuff here. Oh, and then obviously any stat reductions you do to a person, you know, like effect res reduction, like Dr. Ratio has that. Um, effect res reduction, you know, defense reduction, speed reduction, HP reduction. I don't think we have anyone that reduces enemy HP, but you know, if we get that in the future, HP reduction, uh, yeah, you know, just any stat reduction. Now, things that do not count as a debuff, things that do not count as a debuff are action delay, which I said earlier, because it applies instantly. Another one of the debuffs is Ron May's ult. You may or may not know that this is a debuff. So as you can see here, I'm playing ratio. Ratio gets extra damage based on how many debuffs are on the enemy. I have Ranmei plus Shock and Arcana, and as you can see, I have 100%. So that is another debuff for the Acherons, and yeah. Now, things that are not debuffs are something like Hanya's Burden, and I think potentially Clara's Mark, but I have never played Clara, so I have no idea if her Mark is a, um, where is the big event? Yeah, I have no idea if Clara's Mark is a debuff or not, or if it goes into other effects. But if there's a Clara main out there that watches this video, you know, let me know. But um, she does have a Mark. I don't know if that counts as a debuff. I don't know if you'd be playing her realistically with Acheron though, but that is a potential another debuff or not a debuff. And then there's something like Kanya who her burden goes into other effects. Don't have Hanya to show in battle, but I just got Burden. Burden goes into other effects, if I recall correctly. And I think those are the only things that like apply to enemies right now that we have that don't count as a debuff. So most of the things in the game that do like some sort of uh, like stat reduction to the enemy or like, you know, are not good for the enemy, a debuff are a debuff. Um, hope you learned something from this video, you know. Hope this was a good insight on debuffs and, uh, you know, hope you enjoy. I'll see you later. Goodbye.